Hey guys, what's up? It's Biscuit Boo Horror Reviews. I'm here with that video I said I was going to do. Talking about my all-time favorite Mexican horror film, which is Alejandro Jodorowsky's Santa Sangre. Translated to English meaning Holy Blood. Um, I don't know what makes me love this film so much. Uh, from its surreal nightmare atmosphere to its graphic violence, everything is really in its place with this film and all is right with the world. The film basically centers a young man named Phoenix, who has a troubled past. Abusive parents, traumatic experiences, great losses, the whole nine yards. Who is in a coma for 15 years, and is freed, and after being freed from uh, a mental institution by his overbearing cultist mother, he is forced to commit murders for her. Santa Sangri is the sole horror effort from cult filmmaker, poet, comic writer, director, and actor, and all-around weirdo Alejandro Jodorowsky. And I've got to say, it's everything that's great about Alejandro's work, as well as the horror genre, all in one place. It's this mishmash hodgepodge of surreal imagery, bizarre characters, cruel matriarchs, nightmarish atmosphere, violence, depravity, religious iconography, carnival aesthetics, cool sets, and ever so slightly off performances and dubbing, references to tarot cards, repetitive yet simultaneously beautiful and creepy uses of music, Clowns, the handicapped, luchadors, magic tricks, psychological torture. This movie has it all. The film was produced and written by Claudio Argento, as in the brother of Dario Argento, the uh, Dario Argento director of Suspiria, Opera, Deep Red, um... Tenebrae, uh, among many, many other classic uh, horror and giallo films. So, it's not weird that uh, I've heard people call this film a Mexican giallo, although I think it's more in line with something like All the Colors of the Dark than it is something like Suspiria. Although, the colorful lighting and amazing sets of both of those, the colorful lighting, atmosphere, visuals, and just interesting set pieces um, that are featured in both of those films are present in Santa Sangre as well. Um, the film actually started about out as a project about a real serial killer that Jodorowsky had once met um, by chance before the killer was caught. And some of those elements are still there, uh, as well as there being references to um, trauma that Jodorowsky experienced uh, as a child that he put in the film uh, as part of Phoenix's backstory. Although mostly it's an original story, and once you see it, you'll definitely think it's derivative of a, quite a few other famous horror films, and it undoubtedly is. But, I don't know, man. Like, there's just something going on. It's very much doing its own thing, but simultaneously it's a bit derivative and predictable in terms of how things, uh, you know, play out and how things are displayed and revealed. Um, but it's an extremely uh, one-of-a-kind film in, in a lot of other ways. There are genuine moments of beauty and humor in this film that cannot be found in any other film, let alone any horror film. Uh, there are also elements of horror and drama that are present in Santa Sangre that cannot be found anywhere else in the goddamn genre. And the last thing I want to mention is the ending to this film, which if you've seen this film, you know what I'm talking about. It's a dark, tragic, poetic, uh, and simultaneously uplifting ending, and it's very emotionally powerful and impactful. 
comparable to Belladonna of Sadness, one of my favorite uh, animated films. I think this is a film that is a must-see for genre fans. Um, you know, as must-see as as the stuff that is that the, the as 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 a must-see as a lot of the other um, you know so-called must-see horror and exploitation titles are. Um, this is an amazing film for people who are into horror as well as people who are into art house filmmaking alike. And I think that despite the film's flaws, um, whether you're drunk, high, sober, whatever, Santa Sangre is an undoubtedly powerful and very spiritual watch that is undoubtedly one of the best and also my personal favorite Mexican horror film. That's it. That's all I have to say about Santa Sangre. But you know, uh, this has been a video. Anyway, guys, if you want to see more videos like this one, let me know. You know, stuff more laid back, just kind of talking about a specific film. Basically, um, basically doing a kind of retrospective review of it. Um, if you really like it, let me know. And, uh, thanks for watching if you made it this far. Um... But I am going to go start editing, start the editing process on this um, bad boy, so that way I can get it up and out the door. Anyway guys, this is Biscuit Boo Horror Reviews, signing off. Peace.